kicking off the week right with a little bit of run good what is going on youtube it's your boy james aka run good life coming back at you brand new video excited to get into it this week we have a great lineup of videos today we're going to be ripping some 2021 absolute baseball which in this market i think is a little undervalued do you accept cash <clears throat> i was able to get this from my lcs for about 160 dollars uh, currently selling online for about 180 from what I've seen. Uh, two autos, two memorabilia in here, just like the basketball configuration. The basketball version of this has been very, very good to us, uh, especially in our group breaks. We hit a Lamelo level four, which is number to five auto redemption. Um, so we've hit a lot of nice cards. We've also hit a case hit Devin Booker glass. Um, so I wanted to run it back and do some absolute baseball hobby for the first time. I did some blasters of this product last year. Didn't do too well, but hey, I would say with Absolute Baseball, um, you know, some of these Panini Baseball releases, go hobby if you can, um, because they typically tend to be a lot better than uh, the retail versions. We have some other uh, Panini Baseball coming out later this summer. I think in just a few weeks, we have actually Optic and Select dropping. I think Prism got pushed back. I know Select Baseball is on its way. I'm not sure of the status of Prism Baseball. So we'll have some of that on the channel. We'll also have some baseball later on in the week. Uh, we will have 2020 Top Series 2 Hobby. Also this week, I'm hoping to get you guys uh, Panini Prism Draft H2. We did the Hobby Box on Friday. Credit card debt, credit card debt, credit card debt. And then also uh, looking maybe to some Leaf Metal as well, which I do have a few of those. I'm Trying to get the wrong good wife on the on the channel, so we'll see if she wants to do that. Excited to get into this today. Before we can get into it, I just want to say thank you to my bro, Shy City Pools, being a trooper, rocking the Mariners hat uh, after uh, losing the box battle to me. Um, thanks, uh, thank thank you, Tier One, because I did not want to wear a, a Chicago White Sox hat. Anyways, in honor of Shy City, we're gonna do a little giveaway today. I'm gonna give somebody a 2020 update chrome value pack uh go ahead be subscribed to the channel and also drop a comment say thank you shy uh for you know being a good sport and rocking that mariner's hat dear god it's beautiful and not getting a cheap hat he actually got the fitted hat the true mariners on field so that was awesome too i told him he can get any hat he wanted he could have copped out and found something with a teeny tiny logo and he didn't do that uh, so much, much respect to my brother, Shy City Pools. All right, let's go ahead and get into some 2021 Absolute Baseball. We're going to get two packs per box, 10 cards per pack. Two little mini boxes. Uh, we've got Shy's Dude. Uh, Shy's Dude is on both of them, it looks like, actually. I was going to say, typically with Absolute, you get two mini boxes. One's a vet and one is a rookie. But we're going Robert on both of them. So hopefully we can find a Robert autograph. I guess that would be the dream, right? We are going to get 10 cards in each pack, a uh, one auto and one memorabilia in each little mini box. Again, great value at this current, you know, market, what we're seeing. Of course, baseball has never been as high as football and basketball products, but still, uh, two autos, two memorabilia for, you know, 160, 180 bucks. I think they're about 180 to 200 online now. Uh, not bad. I'm looking, I'm seeing a lot of thick cards in here. Um, let's go... We'll do Ryu first. How about that? Deciding if we want to do it spacer one at a time. I think so. I think let me grab a spacer. I think that'll be fun. As the spacer hits the ground. Good thing I have another one. All right. Maybe be a little more exciting, right? All right. First card out. Of course. Of course. I'm going to mess this up. First card out is going to be the Ryu. Typically in basketball, these are on a little bit thicker card stock, but these are a very thin card stock. Uh, we've seen absolute with football and basketball, and now we're getting the baseball design. Not too much to talk about. It is foil, it is flashy, but not super, not super impressive. Joey Gallo gonna be the next one out. I know a lot of you guys don't like Panini baseball because they don't have the logos. I'm personally, I personally really like them. So it is what it is. Uh, hopefully one day everybody can have the license so we can have Topps Basketball and Football again and Panini Baseball can have the team logos. Uh, Raphael Devers right there. Devers is a player I like. I really like Devers long term. I think he's a little bit undervalued compared to some of the other 2018 rookies. Next card out. Going to be Ed Roush. Roush? Not too, not too familiar. Who in the blue hell are you? 
You do get more base cards in this product than the basketball configuration. I believe that was uh, like 10 cards per um, 10 cards per box, 5 cards per pack. Aaron Judge, the judge for New York. I think we have something numbered right here. I was going to say, is it 6 to Sanchez? Starling Marte to 199, going to be our numbered card in the box. I'm going to say, I'm expecting to see a 6 to Sanchez auto, honestly. With Panini, baseball, typically you tend to see a lot of players like that. Uh, let's see, we have a Tools of the Trade to 25, 8 of 25, Buster Posey, and I think that's going to be a PC card for me because I love me some Buster Posey. He's had a pretty good year. You know, he took last year off for COVID-related reasons, but now he's back strong, and um, yeah, I'll take that. I'll probably take that for the PC. Got a little uh, little piece of, like, uh, jersey that's risen up in there, but no patches, unfortunately. You would expect maybe patches on a card number to 25. First auto, exactly what I'm expecting, although this is a nice-looking card. Uh, this is a vet that you would expect from Panini. This is going to be a baseball signature's Eugenio Suarez, and that's a pretty damn cool card. I'm not going to lie. I was always a fan of these, especially the Sweet Shot from Upper Deck uh, in the late 2000s. Um, those were always awesome. The autos on these do tend to fade, unfortunately, but man, Eugenio Suarez, I I'm familiar with the player. I know the player, actually, but he has a beautiful auto. I will say that. That, that's an awesome looking card. Um, and, and again, for two autos for 180 bucks, and one of them is on a baseball. That's pretty damn cool. I'm not going to lie. Uh, final couple of cards looks like inserts in the back. We have Ken Boyer. Oh, and a Key Brian Hayes to 149 rookie class blue. I will take that. Of course, a couple weeks back, he did have the controversy of uh, not stepping on the base. Such, I, I get it. It's a rule. You got to step on all the bases, but man, how silly. Come on. All right, second little mini box right now. Let's see what else we can find. We did hit a veteran auto, so I'm hoping maybe a rookie auto, and I'm hoping again for not a Sixto Sanchez auto because I seem to be hitting a lot of Sixto Sanchez from Panini products. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead just take the base cards out. Sandy Koufax, Paul Goldschmidt, Matt Olson. Joey Votta, Joe Jackson, Shoeless Joe. You know, I'm not much of a White Sox fan, but I, I love Shoeless Joe. Um, just, uh, you know, if you're not familiar, he was with the Black Sox scandal, and uh, the rumor goes he couldn't read, so he was the only one who actually tried and didn't try to throw the World Series, and fortunately, he got banned from baseball. Uh, Colin Moran and our numbered card going to be the Harper, Bryce Harper, 171 of 199. Again, a player I really like. I've followed Bryce Harper's career since its start. Whoa! History. And Bryce Harper wants a piece of Hunter Strickland. Here they go! I liked him a little bit more in Washington than in Philadelphia, but hey, I, I love Bryce Harper. I'm not going to lie. All right, get into our memorabilia. Memorabilia is going to be another to 25 tools of the trade, Edwin Rios. I like the Buster Posey a whole lot more. But we do have a little bit of a stitching right there, and I guess you can call it a three-color because a little bit of the white right there. Yeah, we'll take that. Our auto coming on up. Going to be Braylon Marquis, and again, it's going to be a baseball rookie signatures this time. I will say, again, a nice auto on this one. Um, but unfortunately, this is one of those players that Panini has on the payroll this year. A lot of Braylon Marquis, a lot of Sixto Sanchez. So we're looking for guys like Alec Baum and Dylan Carlson and players like that. And unfortunately, uh, yeah, a lot of Braylon Marquis and a lot of Sixto Sanchez from what I've seen. A lot of pitchers as well. But hey, I'm not feeling too bad about this one. I do like these um, on baseball. So this one is going to be numbered to 35 as well. Let's go ahead. I want to see if our Eugenio Suarez was numbered. It was. That one was to 50. So this one is a red to 35. We will take that. Again, I like the autos. I'm just not a crazy on the players. Final card, going to be a power Jim Tomey. Who I, I just unlocked him in uh, Diamond Dynasty for MLB The Show Baseball. Not numbered on that one. Overall, though, I think that's a fun break. Uh, you know, our hits, let's go ahead and spread them out. Uh, we had the Suarez and the Marquis. We also had the Buster Posey and Edwin Rios. 
fun little rip for under $200. So I would say if you're looking for some baseball, you know, and you've already got your fair share of Topps Finest, which is out right now, and that's a product that I absolutely adore, I would recommend checking out some Absolute Baseball. That's going to go ahead and do it for me today. Again, a good week of videos coming on up for y'all. If you want a chance to win the 2020 Topps Chrome Update Value Pack, go ahead, be subscribed to the channel. Also, drop a comment and just say, thank you, Shy City Pools. We love Shy around these parts. And Shy, thanks for rocking the Mariners hat with me for, for a week. That's going to do it. Take care, stay safe, and we'll catch you next time on Down the Road.